Hey. <clears throat> Alright, so a couple of months ago, uh, me and the boys reacted to uh, the Sidemen Grand Prix. It was at Silverstone. Um, is it, is it, wait, what's the guy's name? I think it's... I need to get it right. Uh, his name is Bamford. And he made a, a Grand Prix of us, custom made. Uh, but he's back. He made a new one. At Monica, of all places. So here we go. Welcome back to another Sidemen Grand Prix. Any predictions? Any predictions when it comes through? This time we're in Monaco. But last time out, if you did not see that Grand Prix in Silverstone, make sure you go check it out. It was one of the best F1 races it was good. of all time. It was very, very Bazinga good. makes that move on Tobe Jizzle and is up in a P2 and then gets very desperate as he goes for a late dive bomb on road to shore, forcing him off the track and allows Tobe Jizzle to like sweep play, on to through honest. to win his first ever Formula 1 Grand Prix. Road to shore was frustrated, so was Bazinga and Bazinga ends up spinning out allowing KSI to get his somehow. first ever podium in Formula 1. It was a very bad day at the office for this man, Joshua Zerka as he allowed KSI to get his first ever overtake on him and and uh, yeah. yeah, it was quite embarrassing. KSI got his first and the crowd on had me. to come out with a statement on their Instagram explaining why John. Wow. <laughs> We'd like to explain the reason. We underestimated the size of Circa's head, which therefore ruined the weight distribution in the car and made it very hard to drive. But the problem is solved for Monaco, Simon GP. was overtaken by KSI and uh, they stated that his head was just too big for the car. Anyway, it is a debut for I Show Speed. Hey. He'll be racing with the sidemen today. And when we told Harry that Speed was going to be in Monaco, he got very, very excited. The fans are getting hyped up Wrong with this speed, tune though. from KSI as we get ready for the end of qualifying. You can see Vic is currently All on right. provisional. We'll do, we, need to, we need to do predictions. I'm saying I'm going to win the race. He's going to be nice to me this time because he said me head's big at the start. So they said they fixed the weight distribution. So therefore, I should win the race because obviously last time they, they underestimated how big my head was. So this time I'm thinking I win. Some of you guys might know, so you might guess and it ruins it. So I need to, you know, don't be ruining it. Paul Bazinga you second, have Toby third, and Zerka in P4. We're actually running the Simon is in a red ball, so he Zerka should really this win. new helmet cam that we've got into Formula 1, so we can see how he's actually driving through Monaco, and that looked pretty tidy through there. Can Joshua Zerka put a purple sector to it? Yes, he can. can. Joshua Zerka, he's on course to potentially take that provisional pole away from Vicstar123, who's had a bit of a stinker in that first sector. Many men to go to the second sector well as well, and I Show speed is doing okay. He's doing better than he did in his first lap. But Zerka up to the line. It's provisional pole uh, for the McLaren. Joshua it. Zerka has been him into round the final corner. Can he take it away from Josh? No, he can't, but he goes up to P3. Vic's having a stinker. He's at a he yellow first sector. He's at a yellow middle sector. But Road to Shaw's gone purple in the first oh, two shit. sectors. But it's oh, a red flag. It. It's a red flag. Vic Star is in the wall. And there's going to be some conspiracy theories about this one what has he done he's hey, having a stinker of a lap he's about two seconds down and he finds himself in the wall all oh, locks up oh, goes I put into myself the wall, in the wall accidentally. Be he's seconds to any whether he did that on purpose Harry's lap. to preserve his p2 because he was having an awful lap road to shore <laughs> had a double purple uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's good that's very very good that's very good good at it so, Vic, what is your thought on people accusing you of crashing on purpose to hold on to that P2 for Monaco tomorrow? To be fair, though. <laughs> that is all we could get from Vic's interview. <laughs> but let's see how Harry is coping after finishing last in Monaco as he meets with his fans. You boys have no life. You don't right, do anything. Of course, of course. You sit in your bedrooms all day, getting old. Your life's withering away. We're doing that fight in Monaco. What are you doing with your life? Go do something. Why? Why? No, you can't just stare at a screen till you're 60. We are here He's on human. the race He's day, human. ready for another Sidemen Grand Prix. Qualifying was a spicy this one yesterday. Sick, and I'm sure we'll have a this. great race on our hands today. Vic Star told Harry to grow Jeez, up after XX constantly Monaco. complaining to the FIA. And we cannot repeat what Harry said back to Vic. Be sure to keep an eye on them if they meet each other. 
on the track. Anyway, here is our starting grid for today's Grand Prix. Jeez. Joshua Zerka on pole position with Vickstar123 lining up alongside him. Mini Minter in P3 and Bazinga in P4 us. looking like someone stole the last burger at the barbecue. And by the <laughs> looks of it, it might have been KSI as he lines up on row three with Tobe Jizzle. I show speed and road to shore fill out the back of the grid and I show speed said that KSI will not see the end of this Grand Prix. A big change to the Silverstone have you, Grand Prix. Have you seen this? Zinga from Ferrari. Here's a point of Harry. Rose are red, violets are blue. My newborn baby has better communication skills than you. That there will be no required... Pitch. That is a Tinder line right there stop for today's race and you can see bazinga <laughs> and harry having some rose red violets of blue pipe down bears your dad left you words over the Jesus radio with Christ. each other before the race Jesus begins Christ, star one on? two three has remained focused ignoring off all of, of the race. critics while road ashore seeks revenge as he looks to weave his way through the field but it is Joshua Zerka on pole position here in Monaco as they line up right. onto the grid and the red lights are going. It is you four, send it. five red lights in Monaco. It's lights and out away and away we go. We go. Here in Zerka Monaco. That leads us away. He holds on to that P1, but Big Star is looking for a move around the outside. No, 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 not in Monaco. Mini Minter looks for a move down the inside of Big Star, but can't get it done. But Speed has got past KSI and KSI has already it dropped is to the already. back of the grid. That? Road Ashore capitalizing is well i don't know what's happened there but speed up in the p6 that is just the start that he would want in surely i'll win this the right you have to really fuck the up the monica she crashed maybe sure it's, like, it's hard so to KSI overtake here back at the back of the grid he does this so he well belongs. man this is let's sick. see this start from i show speed he gets way well but in the second phase he slows down he's actually behind road ashore how does he make that move he makes oh, a massive sent. side bomb on ksi <laughs> almost putting him in the wall and i'll tell you what <laughs> As I was saying, I'll tell you what, that was a feisty move from Speed, and I don't know what drugs he is on, but he was loving it. That four, Big okay. Star is putting the pressure Whoa. on Joshua Zerka as we are no, on no, no, lap no, 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 no. has Not gone ahead there, of Mini Minta, and Road to Shaw is up into P6. Not with your 10 and 2 steering wheel mechanics, speed. ain't happening, so Big Star. You ain't getting past me. Here in Monaco, and Big that. Star wants to be the, the next tunnel. person to gain a position as he is fighting for the race lead. He's on the rear wing of Joshua Zerka. Is he going to go for a move in the chicane? He goes down the inside. Big Star, no. one, two, three. Oh, Ooh, he has on, to cut on, the corner. What's He's never been allowed to keep that position. Surely he has to give that back to Zerka. Otherwise, Pick, the mate, FIA the are going to get involved and give him a penalty. What is he going to do? As he rounds, goes to the swimming pool section, the race director has got involved. Big and Star, he's saying, you have to Big give Star, back the place to Zerka. You have to give the place back to Zerka. So is he going to do it down this next straight? Hey, what is he going to do? Me, give me, give me. Big Star, down this straight. Is he going to do what he wants? Or is he going to give the place back? It looks as though he is slowing up. So Zerka around the outside as Big Star. Oh, Big Star sticks it on through. Hey. He doesn't care. He said he's giving the place back as we go up Bubble Rivage. Big Star, one, two, three. Around the outside. Hey, the wall, what's Surely going not. on? They're going side by side into the casino section. Big Star, one, two, three. I'm holds it on back. Through. I can't believe it. Zerka will not he's be scum. happy with that. Is it in, no, I don't understand, bro. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand what has happened. <laughs> Zerka clearly <laughs> frustrated with Vic, and I wonder if the FIA from, like, would be jumps, getting right? involved. I don't understand. On to lap seven now, and you see Bazinga all over the back of Joshua Zerka. I'm not no word from the race hey. director as of yet whether Vic Star has to give that place back to Zerka. But I'll tell you what, Bazinga does not care. Is he looking at Joshua Zerka? He's going to look for a move down the inside I'm in shit. Monaco. What a I'm move that is from Ethan I'm Bazinga. Awful. He's up into P2, and now the race director comes on the radio to tell Vic Star to give that plays back to Joshua Zerka. It gets a little more complicated now because the McLaren is, is in P3 behind Bazinga. If Big Star wants to give that place back, he'll have to let the Ferrari of Bazinga oh, pass and Joshua Zerka. What is going to happen here? Is he just going to keep driving and take whatever penalty the FAA gives him? <laughs> or is he going to give the place back? It does look like Big Star's slowing up. But I'll tell you what, he's not letting Bazinga pass. He's blocking He's Bez. slowing up. He's hoping that Zerka can pass Bazinga and then he'll let Zerka a pass to hold on to that P2. Jeez, what a tactician. Bazinga goes and cuts the corner. Oh, oh my goodness me. He's had a collision with Big Star. One, two, three. That's a red the flag. The cars go by. Rhoda Shaw's caught up into it. And it's a safety car here oh, in God. Monaco. Absolute carnage. That is how you finish a man off. 
interesting words from Joshua Zerka, but let's have a look at the replay here. Big Sun 1, 2, 3. He is slowing that. up even Bazinga in hope that Zerka that can chill. make a move. And what has Bazinga done here? He goes... He goes for the move and he cuts oh, the corner, fourth. clips Vicstar's back wheel, just spins him around. Everybody else says thank you very much. They go on through and then the safety car comes out. And uh, I'll tell you what, you expect to crash in Monaco, but that That's was a pretty say. dumb move from Bazinga as he comes on the team radio. <laughs> and I'd rather not read He's out that radio message. Every kid you've touched. <coughs> he just keeps hitting him. <laughs> <laughs> We are on lap 10 of this Grand Prix. The safety car is coming in at the end of the lap. You have Zerka still in P1 after all he's gone through this Grand Prix. And Mini Minter in P2, someone we haven't spoke about much. He's gone under the radar. Yeah, Could he past me, be surely. the one to take victory here in Monaco? P3, you got Tobe Dizzle, who was last time's race winner in Silverstone, <laughs> looking to make it a double here in Monaco. Speed and KSI find themselves P4 and P5. Rode ashore in P6, who's been very, very frustrated this Grand Prix. And then you got Big Star in seventh with ending. Bazinga at the back after that incident. And away we go after right, the safety car. Start, Zerka on, has led us away with Mini Minter P2 and Toe Drizzle P3. No Just one get can get the job Simon, you're good. on the car in front. So we've got Mini Minter P2 chasing down Joshua Zerka, who's in P1. Okay. Lap 12, oh no, he's got closing me Minter again. For all God's over sake, the back mate. Of Joshua Zerka. Can he find the move here in the thrust. streets of Monte Carlo? It's going to be a difficult one, especially slacking. with the pace that Zerka's got. But down the inside of Raskas, Mini Minter's oh! through on Joshua Zerka. Tiamat Marduk would be proud. What a move that is in Monaco. Oh, getting done in the by Simon. Of Mini Minter, but Zerka's oh, not done yet. Back. He's going to go around the outside. Oh. We're going yeah. side by side yeah. into turn one at Monaco. Zerka around yeah. the the yes. outside is holding it no. on through. Can Mini Minter take it around the outside and hold on as we go into the casino oh. section? A bit of wheel banging. They're getting feisty here in Monaco. Mini Minter has to let it's Zerka go. Go and sneak it Zerka out of back in the P1 and Tom Jizzle is waiting to pounce in P3. Is he going to find a way through or is Zerka going to hold on no. to that P1? But Mini Minter down the oh, inside no. of the hairpin. That is unbelievable stuff. Mini Minter takes the race lead and that is an incredible bit of racing here in Monaco. And I'm surprised that both cars have came out in one piece. Let's have a look at that first move from Mini Minter into Raskas. He got that move done on Zerka. He's not that close to his gearbox, but he goes for that dive bomb nah, anyway. He, nah, Zerka you know gives him the room. That's and that there. is an He's incredible in. move here in he just, Monaco. He a place me, where you don't expect to see many overtakes. <laughs> We've seen plenty today. Zerka gets back through on defend, that straight. Apparently. And Mini Minter goes for another dive oh. bomb. This time into the He's hairpin. It to takes the race lead. You've got to be aggressive if you want to want to win in Monaco and Mini Minter is certainly doing that. KSI is pushing the pace here in the midfield. You've got Rodashaw, Vic, and Bazinga struggling to find a way through. And the front <laughs> three just running away with it here in Monaco. But KSI is all over the back of Aisho Speed. He's gone for a move. KSI down the inside of Aisho Speed. I don't believe it. What a move from KSI. <laughs> <laughs> Less oh, than dude. three laps to go, and Tobe Drizzle is trying to find a way past Zerka no, and no, Mini Minter. It's no. looking less yeah, and less again. likely as the laps go on, but this the odds are against him me. in Silverstone, and they are again in Monaco. If results stay the same way, Tobe Drizzle will be the only sideman to get onto the podium in both races, but it's a red flag! It's a red flag! It's I What's Show happened? Speed and KSI! Oh, it issue. was inevitable! As soon as I Show Speed was announced, you knew they were going to crash. Crash. What has happened here in Monaco? I show speed gets a very good exit. Is it going to look at the roof? Oh, yeah, yes, I just put him in the wall. He says, see you later. KSI! <laughs> What's good? <laughs>
We have a two lap sprint to decide the winner here in Monaco. It is five sprint red to the lights finish. and away we One go. Zoka gets away well. Mini Menta has a very poor start. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes, go. Is he going to lead coming out of turn one? Yes, he is. Road a short fight with Tom. Just the sprint is going to send it. It's past mixed star. One, two, three. You can see the Alpine and the Mercedes tangling a little bit as they bag wheels. <laughs> That's but some Road dangerous driving. Road to is through and follow through. Sure, sure, Tom sure. Tom we got to win here. He's a stinker. He's down to P5, Big Star at the back in P6, but Road to Shaw, he's in for the race win, he's up at the P3, he dives down was. the inside of Mini Minter, up he's going into for it. P2, goes Road to Shaw, he's here to fight for the win, but no. it's Joshua Zerka leading him oh, away, what he's done one already. and a half laps I'm to gonna go, fucking... what is going to happen I'm gonna, I'm gonna choke in somewhere. Monaco, Mini Minter, poor restart, and it's cost him. The final lap of the Grand Prix, and you can see Rhoda Shaw almost pushing Zerka around the track. Let me he's for showing once. the pace Let that he showed in qualified. Is Let this going to be one of the greatest comebacks we see in Monaco? Please, as Rhoda Shaw thinks about defend. a move, but he waits. He can't wait much longer. There's not many overtaking opportunities here in Monaco. He's got less than half a lap to find a way past the McLaren yeah. of Zerka. Is Zerka going to get a victory after last time out being overtaken by KSI? The embarrassment of of that, but Road to Shaw down the inside on Zerka. You He's bastard! Done it with two corners to go, Road to Shaw is going to go from P8 to P1 in Monaco. What a victory! But Zerka gets a good exit out of the last corner, up to the line. Who won? He says Road to Shaw is one of the timing screens, but that must have been very, very close. Road how to close? Shaw takes its <laughs> first ever sideman victory, and look oh, how close right. it was. A front wing separates the top two drivers. What? an incredible race here in Monaco. Let's see that race winning move from right. Rosa. I've come second. I've got a podium. But at what cost? I've literally like lost a place to every single person on the grid. Not the worst driver here. For sure, into Raskas. What a move that is. Zerka is going to be kicking himself after that one. He didn't defend very well. He's been caught out there twice this Grand Prix. And Rosa Shaw says thank you very much. Make sure you go ahead and vote for your driver of the day Whoa. in the description. Who's but it here's be? the race results. Road to Shaw takes his first ever victory in the Sidemen Grand Prix with Zerka in a close second. And Mini Minter getting P3 after looking very, very strong. You can see Speed and KSI unable to finish the race. Ethan Bazinga in P4, Toby Fifth, and Vic Star so I got in sixth. Lap. And uh, we'll see you guys next time for the next Sidemen Grand Prix. Good shit. I'll be here once again. I believe he's not doing F1 now until the next uh, Formula 1 game comes out, though. So that is the last one for a while, I guess, unless F1 comes out earlier this year. Um, which, like, this comes out like June, right? It normally comes out. They're good, though. They're, they're, they're proper good. They're really well done. All right, you have to rate it. You have to love it. I'll link the proper one down below so you can check it out and subscribe to the channel. But yeah, WVid.